Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker is set to introduce many different revelations that will lead to saga-wide implications in this story by writer and director J.J. Abrams and Chris Terrio. This is Mike Zero, make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now what's really exciting about Episode 9 is that we do know that this film is going to of course introduce many different twists and turns that's going to change how we view the past 8 Star Wars films which honestly is very intriguing to see exactly how JJ is going to utilize all of this into one big epic story that will follow the adventures of Kylo, Rey, Poe, Finn, etc. And of course exactly where they're all going to end up in this film. Now these past couple of weeks or so we've been learning a whole lot more about this movie and when it all comes down to one of the concept art descriptions. This is where things begin to get very intense for episode 9. Now specifically shot descriptions consisting of a sequence where it's said that Rey, Poe, and Finn are on a mission to the desert world of Pasana where it's explained that once they land with the Falcon they eventually reach a village with many natives celebrating. It said that this is where Rey and her crew run into Leia's contact, where it said that he holds much knowledge of the First Order and the Empire, where it said that the desert world of Pasana once served as a world that contains secret plans of Emperor Palpatine, and that this is where Leia's contact keeps many ships and weapons. It's explained that not only does Leia's contact hold many TIE fighters that the Resistance will use later on in the film, but they also own pieces of the Death Star 3 that were stolen from a construction site over in the Mid-Rim sometime after the Battle of Jakku. It's described that the Death Star 3 materials were all complete just before the Emperor's death and that Palpatine was planning a third Death Star as a failsafe if the second one was ever destroyed. It's described that Leia's contact tells them that the First Order holds the Death Star technology and that it is very dangerous that they have heard rumors of another fleet developing over in the Unknown Regions that is not First Order. It's said that one of the sequences even involves Poe, Finn, and Rey looking out into the distance of the desert world and witnessing the essential parts of the third Death Star, however the weapons technology was stolen by the First Order some time ago. So let's go over a couple of parts about this. Now in case you guys did not know, we have a one year time jump in between episodes 8 and 9, which a lot ha actually has happened in between those events, and within that time span, we've actually had the First Order actually stole pieces of the Death Star 3 technology off of the desert world of Pasana. Now, it does also make a lot of sense as to why that there is a First Order presence on this world, which is why you see the Jump Troopers in the Rise of Skywalker teaser trailer. It's also the reason as to why the Knights of Ren and Kylo Ren are going to show up on this world, is because they are most certainly interested in the Resistance and destroying them and wiping them out once and for all, and they know that they are very desperate at this point in time. So, the third Death Star technology, very intriguing. I know they touched on this very lightly in Star Wars, Legends, not a lot of people are really familiar with it, but in Legends, there was something to do with the Death Star 3, and now J.J. Abrams is throwing that into Episode 9. Keep in mind that the actual Death Star itself, the third one, is not going to be the main super weapon in Episode 9 in the form of a sphere, but it's actually going to be the weapons material that's actually going to be a part of the new super weapons in the Rise of Skywalker called the Annihilators. Now the Annihilators are powered by Death Star 3 technology, and this desert world of Pasana actually holds all the pieces of the third Death Star. Not only that, this also kind of connects to what J.J. Abrams originally wanted to do on the world of Jack Who and the Force Awakens where the first Death Star would lift from the ground of Jakku, which would have made no sense at all in my opinion, but that was JJ's original idea and now you can see how he's trying to convert that idea from The Force Awakens and trying to make it a lot more sense in Episode 9 by using the pieces of the third Death Star. Now, all the materials were said to be laid out over at a construction site over in the Mid-Rim that was eventually stolen by these natives and of course Leia's contact that led those natives to discovering these pieces and bringing it back to the world of Pasana. Now, Pasana is said to be a very intriguing planet. It's said to be a mixture of Tatooine and Jakku. Honestly, in my point of view, you might as well have just brought back Jakku as the main planet at this point. But, this desert world is said to be different because of its origins. It's said to be deeply connected with the Empire and the Imperial forces. And that there's going to be a heavy Imperial presence in, of course, the Rise of Skywalker on this world. 
And that's a great thing, because the Death Star 3, you know, really is something that's so unknown in Star Wars Legends that is now, now going to be made known in the Rise of Skywalker, which is canon material. And I personally cannot wait to see, you know, exactly how this technology is going to be applied to both the First Order and, of course, the new Sith Empire, which, by the way, is the rumors that Leia's contact heard of, of a new... Sith fleet, or a new fleet, if you will, that's developing over in the Unknown Regions. That fleet is actually Emperor Palpatine. Now, the First Order holds that Death Star 3 technology on their new Star Destroyers, as well as Darth, you know, Sidious as well. So anyways, guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.